Hi everybody, when it comes to a wonderful singer, today's wonderful guest is going to blow your socks off. A lot of people already know of this person in English speaking countries because she's called Pomme, which means apple in France, in French, sorry. And today's song is Tombeau, which means tomb. And she plays this, and I'm going to give you a bit of bio about it in a minute. And it's from The Collar Show, which is on YouTube. And their link is in the description to subscribe to them. You're going to a phenomenal channel full of superstars all over the world that give up one song. And it's for you just to sit back and savor. Usually they try and do a different song that they haven't done on other shows. And in this case, I didn't really see and excuse the wind because... I have the window open, it's a windy day, but it's also very warm, so I can't keep the window closed totally. So I excuse any wind sounds in this video. We're not haunted, don't worry. So the, today's song is by Palm, it's called Tomb, taken from The Colour Show. And I love the channel. Hello all the people and editors of The Colour Show. Today's video is from her debut, well, sorry, today's song is from the it's that debut on the color show and pom delivers a sparkling rendition of her new single which it is throughout the performance pom's magical voice beautifully complements the dreamy soundscape compromising her magnificent harp playing and the subtle twinkle of chimes which you're going to hear as she sings about keeping precious memories alive after a broken friendship watch the dazzling performance keep an eye out for pom's fourth coming third studio album everybody and I certainly will keep you informed on my channel because she is going to be one of the biggest rising stars of this year it it's incredible it took a collaboration with I'm one of the warriors of Aurora and she's to the warriors like the queen of, of music to us and I admit that even as a musical reactor I have her on feet Aurora on my channel a lot but it took her a collaboration with Palm to really springboard her into our side, the English speaking world. But still, even when you hear Palm, her voice is so soothing and magnetic and enticing and all the other words you can think of because she's just got a karma about her that just draws you in musically and vocally, as you will see, I'm sure, in this performance. Looking forward to this performance, by the way, the first time I've seen it. But I'm going to give you a bit of background to our wonderful Palm. She has a bewitching voice as if it's suspended in midair. She's got powerful lyrics to go with all of her song. And she's almost like a fairy tale character, straight straight out of a Tim Burton movie. Now, in a recent Vogue interview, Palm, the artist, who is the latest sensation on the French music scene, Mention, talks about her hypersensitive music, seducing an ever-growing community of fran, fans, much to her surprise. When you listen to her, you won't be surprised. Along with some critics too, but that goes with the territory. And her dazzling career already has been rewarded with the title of Female Artist of the Year in 2021, Best Album for Les Falaises in 2020 which is stunning accolades for such a young girl. She's an eternal fan of, of Barbara and Edith Piaf, whose influences gracefully transfuse into the artist's own melancholic kind of lyrics and, and music. And let's see, she tells us that she's marked her life and influenced her life with music from listening to Lady Gaga to Lizzo through to Celine Dion and Laurie who, are, who were all her idols growing up. Now she talks about Barbara. It was love at first sight when I was eight years old she says. My singing teacher made me listen to Gottenen and it moved me deeply. The older I became the more I understood the deeper layers of her very dark lyrics. But equally, Palm at a young age has layers in her lyrics, as we shall see at the end of it. She talks about Celine Dion. She talks about the song Pourquoi tu m'aimes sans cor? And it's one of the songs most of her friends have on the playlist. She talks about Lady Gaga's 
influence being on stage with the time she wore a corset and she talks about when she wore that buster which lit up with sparkles to her it was incredible so all these people she's also talks about the iconic mo model Winnie Harlow who suffers from vitic you know the skin where it's white and dark and vitil I, I want to say it properly vitil oh, today my tongue anyway you understand what the condition is and it raises awareness about this condition through this model so that's influenced her and she talks even about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Tim Burton but she's like one of the characters from from Tim Burton's film she really is she's got such she reminds me of a mixture of Bjork, Aura and herself and lots of other people and she really is a mixed bag got the lyrics in front of me looking forward to this let's get into her she's worth listening to and I've talked too much thank you for listening now let's listen to the star herself because in 2022 she's going to reach so many layers win more accolades that the young woman will just be overwhelmed why I think after listening to her you'll be like I'm not surprised take it away palm and tomb about the interference everybody it does happen when it's a windy day it comes on the internet understand I'm sorry about the when I can hear it now do you understand what I'm saying about liquid gold vocals soothing like milk chocolate when it's melted all those symbolic things rush through my head when when I'm listening to her voice she's got everything she really has and she captivates you in a very relaxed 
and enticing way because you want to know more straight after you've listened to her. You just think so young to be, to have such pulling power musically and vocally and draws you in like this. It's just wonderful. Congratulations. Let's go straight into the lyrics of this song because I really think this year is going to be your year, Palm. After Aura, after this song, I've been featured on The Colour Show because The Colour Show, everybody, is a phenomenal channel in its own right. And I'm not here promoting them. I've been so influenced by them. And they're so professional that I wanted to be, in my own way, as professional as The Colour Show. And I think I am. I think that when it comes to giving respect, a bit of bio, and a bit of information to use the fans of the artists, I think I balance it pretty well. So when it comes to verse one of the song tomb, it says, you wanna leave me as fast as the wind, I won't die. I'll go and see from time to time, the flowers drying on the tomb, the fear winning one time too many. So already she's come to, you know, which is difficult when a friendship breaks up, to accept because as she says it's which was followed up i'm just wondering what this is about now dreamy landscape it's about a broken friendship i i want to keep that aside from what i'm going to say so it's about her broken friendship and when it comes to anybody in this situation and you've realized the friendship's broken there's no going back you're going your separate ways you do bury them you bury them for your own mental and physical well-being. You really do. You have to. But I've never seen it in lyrics like the flowers drying on the tomb. It's, it is symbolic of a death. Because that void can't be filled. That emptiness, you wonder, how am I going to survive now? I'm going to be, I don't have that routine with, with anybody else that I had with this person. That person made me laugh and cry and we shared everything. It just depends on what level the friendship was, but this seems very to be an intimate friendship. I'm not saying sexual, just very deep, loving, intimate friendship because of the powerfulness of that symbolism, the flowers drying on the tomb. It continues, chorus, tell me something and even if there's nothing that comes back to you, I'll remember for you. I've kept the beauty of all this, I think. So she's even doubting that have I remembered everything? Will I remember everything? Over time, will I always remember those times I had with this person? But she doubts herself about that because you're not meant to remember everything. Some people think you are, you're not meant to. Your brain is like a computer. And what do we do on our computers? We delete the information to keep it clean and virus free. And virus free in this, in a broken friendship would be your feelings and your hurt and your anger. And she's just thinking about it. Have I done enough to remem remember that friendship the way it was and continue with my life the way it is? It's a difficult one. Verse two says, everybody will get older. I don't teach anything new to anybody. You can destroy everything. Disappear when it comes to fall and live with the animals, split the snow, sleep in the water. So it's very poetic, but what it, for me, what it means means she's not going to practice what she preaches. In other words, if somebody came along in a similar situation, I don't think Palm would be sharing her pain, her thoughts, what happened to her. She's a private person, in other words. She keeps it to herself. She doesn't want to teach anybody else from her experience. She wants people to learn themselves and disappear when the fall comes. You know, it's... When winter comes, what do we think? Bleakness, dark evenings, blackness. So that's how she feels at the moment, that winter's all around her in the way that she's feeling. And live with the animals, in other words, isolation on your own. And what do we say when we want to escape city life or we want to escape relationships? Everybody seeks solace in, an, in a country situation, in isolation with the house and a few animals, maybe a dog or a cat around you and you just close the door and you just need healing time because she says spit the snow sleep in the water so sleep in the water is drowning in her emotions and even if it's snowing outside and it's cold that's how she's feeling she just wants to get it out of her system do it slowly 